In Holland, the flower fields are in full bloom. Acres of tulips and daffodils, gently swaying in the breeze, present a picture of unforgettable beauty. Thousands of Dutch youngsters help in tending and cutting the flowers. Bulb cultivation is the third largest industry in Holland. Altogether, 15,000 people are engaged in it. 500 of them are exporters, and Britain is their biggest buyer. Apart from what we buy in Holland, the Dutch have sent us many tons of flower seed and bulbs as a gift. When the flowers are at their best, the fisher folk of Volendam and the slopes of Iselmere dress up in their national costume and, complete with garlands, parade through the town. It's the time of their flower festival. Fifteen thousand people from all parts of Yorkshire and Derbyshire gathered at Wickersley near Sheffield for South Yorkshire's first agricultural show of the year. The first prize in the four-year-old class goes to this one owned by H. Brabs of Hatfield. Here's another prize-winning exhibit, a pair of horses in plough harness. Among other attractions at the show was the open jumping competition. Not every horse was keen to complete the course, but in the end, they all got over. To West Riding farmers, Wickersley Agricultural Show is the payoff to a year's hard work. At Buckingham Palace, the first garden party for eight years. 6,000 people were there as guests of the royal family. The list of names read like pages from Debrett. The hosts met their visitors in the 40-acre grounds which spread out at the back of the palace. At this austerity substitute for the pre-war courts, the king decreed that the handing in of the official invitation card ranked as a presentation. Fashions were very much coupon controlled, but there were many striking frocks, notably ankle length dresses. In brilliant sunshine and with a thermometer at 75 degrees, this was a perfect day for the first post war royal garden party. The Palm Springs estate of Watermelon King, multimillionaire Krigor Arkelian is turned into a mecca for hundreds of cripples from every part of America. Afflicted men, women and children come to see Avak Hagopian, the faith healer. Four years ago, when Avak was 16, it is said God appeared to him in a vision. Formerly a goldsmith's apprentice in Armenia, Avak says he was given the power to cure. With a touch of his fingers, the faith healer is reported to have healed ulcers, paralysis and cancers. America awaits the results of Avak's cures. Chelsea Royal Hospital celebrates Founders Day. Princess Elizabeth inspects the annual parade of 310 scarlet-coated pensioners. The princess wore a spray of oak leaves in memory of Charles II, whose birthday and restoration coincide with Founders Day. <laughs> Oldest man on parade was 90. The average age, 75. Survivors of Mafeking, veterans of the Boer War, they celebrated the day with a double allowance of beer and plum pudding. <laughs> 